I'm Janet Nixon, director of the Russell Home for Typical Children. The Russell Home has been caring for typical children for over 50 years. And really what started out for just caring for children in the neighborhood has, has turned into the most rewarding experience anybody could ever have. They're very special. We rely on totally on the public to keep our doors open. We're filming today from our tea room, which is one of our little ways of raising money to support our home. And it's, it's really outdone itself. But we're living in a house that was built by my father in 1942. And we're looking at some major renovations this year. Everything from kitchens to bathrooms to bedrooms. We just, we need a new home. So we're just going to make this a year of trying to raise enough funds to meet those needs and we'll just do it gradually or as we can. But we appreciate all the support. The atypical child is a special needs child, whether it be mental or physical uh, disabilities. It's anything other than what they classify normal. Our children range from the age of 62, which was the first child that entered our home at the age of three, to our baby who is now four years old and we got him when he was just four pounds. So we have quite an arrangement here and they're all different ethnic groups, different uh, needs, and uh, we have a wonderful dedicated staff and a wonderful, very active board of directors. So uh, along with your help, that's what keeps our doors open and we're very grateful to have this opportunity to ask for your support. The initial part of our home was the part that my father built. We have just a very small living room uh, my office is actually where our front porch used to be. We have a small dining room and a kitchen which we've bumped out a little bit to accommodate because we serve over 80 meals a day and just one stove, regular stove, because we're not wired for a commercial. So there are a lot of little needs there. We have a little pantry. Then we have a large dining hall and playroom. It has to serve to meet both needs because we have some of the children have to have constant supervision and we have employees there that do activities with them, but they're right off and we use that room for the dining hall also. Then we have another, our bedrooms are what we grew up in, and um, it's, it's just four little bedrooms and they're about the size of a 10 by 12, and we have two children in each room. So uh, we pushed out a wall when we've had to and just go from there. But we also added a dormitory, or a wing I should say. We have a nursery area. Right now we have four, uh, three hospital beds and one crib in the nursery area. Then we have the boys have six boys in one room, then we have six girls in the other. So uh, it's just spread out and like I say, it needs a lot of attention. We're a very unique facility. Uh, like I say, what started for caring for just neighborhood children, when we were, mother was asked to take a handicapped child, uh, of course her answer was, sure I will and that little girl is still in our home today. Our greatest need really is funding. We're looking into some grants, but we also need daily support. There are many needs that come up unexpected that we need funds for. Uh, you know, gas is very high. We have special diets. Uh, it's nice to have gift cards to be able to buy the certain groceries we need. And, uh, like I say, the children like to go out and have activities and keep the vans running. If there's a special need, we just say a little prayer. And if, it, if the need is sincere, it comes through the door. The Russell Home is supported 100% by private donations from people like you. Your support is needed. Please give online at WDBO.com.